Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Phoenix Suns. Alongside Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us from the sidelines. How much weight do you put on these early season standings considering it's such a long season? Well, you have to give some credit to the top teams. But you also have to consider that some of these units are still getting the feel for how to play with each other. So as a broadcaster, as a person that covers the league as you do, but who's also coach, is there a game number you put on? Do you want to get through a quarter of the season, a third of the season? What is it for you? I think that changes with how many veterans do you have returning from last year's team because those veteran teams that bring most of the players back, they generally should get off to a quicker start. That's a good point. Worthy that time recognized the pressure and then drew the foul on the pump fake. That's just a smart basketball play there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. That one is off. And he's good on the second. Well, the poise that Worthy brings to his game, I mean, it's impressive. He keeps his cool even in tough situations, and he always seems to allow the game to come to him. And he gets the bucket. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. Johnson against Mason. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Once Kareem gets it there, the defense has no chance. He owns one of the most unblockable shots in the game. Nance passes to Davis. Over Cooper. And it's Davis missing. Well, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. First personal foul. Second team foul. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. The pass to Worthy. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Lucas. Shot from 16. Nance, no good. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. Here's Cooper. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. The long arms of Abdul-Jabbar. Such a challenge trying to keep him off the offensive glass. Here's Nance. Plays it up and banks it in. Nance. Nance has got his second bucket tonight. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Johnson dishes to Worthy. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Great D that time from Lucas. Pass to Nance. The jump hook. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. Cooper a screen on Mason. And here's Johnson outside. Nance with the rebound. The Suns leading. Passes it to Macy. Pass to Davis. Here's Nance. And that one Larry falls Nance. coming off of Davis's speed. Nance has got six. This is Nance in his comfort zone. Getting in close to the hoop and using his size to find the hook. Where are they trying to break free? And Abdul Jabbar gets it to go. Magic. How about that? Pulling out the hook shot. Nobody there to defend it either. And Macy kicks to Adams. Lucas, that's good. Love the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Inside and outside action. Johnson, the pass to Wilkes. Feeds to Worthy. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Just five to shoot. 
Here's Wilkes. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Can't give Wilkes breathing room from there. He'll make you pay if you do. Johnson against Macy. Outside, Davis. Macy up top. There's the pass to Nance. Macy with it. Over Johnson. That one a little long. For Los Angeles, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game up. Cooper against Adams. Picks it out to Johnson. And the foul is by Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. That's his first foul. First person and you foul. can see he was set right there in good Substitute legal guarding team. position. That's a nice job. And his teammates appreciate him sacrificing his body. Just a gritty defensive play. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Pippen's checked in, and it's White in for Nance. Westfall passes to Pippen. Outside, White. Out to the wing. Here's Westfall, covered by Johnson. Here's Davis, well-placed jumper from the free-throw line. There are very few players who can slow a score of his caliber down. Now, here's Johnson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That one falls. This is where Magic thrives, a master at toying with defenders in screen and rolls. To the left side wing. It's White on the wing. High post, Davis. Shoots over Scott, and there's Davis. That's good on the assist by White. Davis has got his second basket. Pass to Nader. On the wing, Scott. Here's the screen. Tries it from 19. And Johnson now top of the key. Here's Wilkes, driving the lane. Another shot, and the layup is good. A 20-point-per-game level player. Wilkes looks to beat you inside. Pass to White. Outside, Davis. Pass to Westfall. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by McAdoo. Lakers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. And he gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by one. Such great vision. That's why they call him Magic. Always seems to find the open man. Phoenix calls timeout. The pass to Brantley. It's White on the wing. Pass to Westfall. Here's Brantley. Shot clock at five. Takes a shot at the elbow. Jump shot is good that time. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Now, here's Johnson. No good with the wing jumper. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. Now, here's Scott. He's covered closely. Here's Westfall. Unable to get that one. And the Lakers take it the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And the defense didn't seem too engaged, not really interested in stopping them at all, which allowed the offense to find a nice rhythm. And once they found their groove, there was no slowing them down. They just kept going at the defense all night. Defensive. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. And the Lakers making a change here. Rambis has checked in. You know, Johnson is really one of the more unique point guards that we've had in the game over the years. And he's able to do it with style and substance. 
Good. Pittman's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. Oh, I'll tell you what, both teams have got it going on. I mean, playing phenomenally well. Yeah, but I think it's going to be hard to keep this pace up. We'll see. Basket counts. Yeah, McAdoo is so good at crashing the boards. Outstanding as an offensive rebounder working that glass. Passes to Westfall. Over Scott. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. There's 48 seconds left here in the first quarter. Johnson dishes to McAdoo. And that one is stuffed right through. Just another day at work for McAdoo. Do whatever he wants once he gets this close. Outside, White. Hey, yo, right here. All the way. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. From 17 feet out, Another one falls for Phoenix. Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Now Scott. What a tremendous game he played against Dallas. One second left. Oh, and the buzzer beat is good. What a shot to beat the buzzer. And that's how you gain momentum. Yeah, that kind of a shot always energizes a team. And they'll look to build off of it going into the next quarter. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Lakers lead by two. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. enjoying the game both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard and taking a look at the Lakers performance here what have they been doing or not doing in the game they've been resolute I mean attacking the paint early very forceful haven't been shy absorbing contact and throwing their weight around inside look at the last game for the Suns it was a win against the Warriors in San Francisco he feeds it to Abdul Jabbar he makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And a nice play by Scott. Outstanding in the secondary playmaker role. AC pass it to Lucas. Outside, Davis. Puts it up from 17. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Lakers ball. Lakers leading by four. Outside, Scott has to Worthy. That shot misses. Nance with some nice D. Al Phoenix shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. To the wing on the left. Lucas kicks to Davis. Adams with the screen on Cooper. On the high post, he gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And Cool Jabbar's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's the pass to Rambus. Down low. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Second quarter. We're a little over a minute and a half in. Macy passes to Lucas. Over to the wing. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Down to five on the shot clock. And Davis puts it in. He's got a strong mid-range shot. So when he finds those openings, he won't hesitate. Macy against Scott. And it's Cooper missing. I think they were going for a little extra flavor there. Ultimately, coming up way short. The timing on the pass was just off. And as a result, the play blows up in their faces. And here is Macy. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got the game tied up here for the Sun. Yeah, every coach that ever coached Kyle Macy loved that he just plays the right way. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Abdul Jabbar's got 10 points. 
so few players still even use the hook shot, but I think it's a tremendous weapon when you can master it and do it right. Going inside, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Mike, it seems that if anything's changed in the past few years, it's the flow of the game. You agree? Yeah, there's a lot more fluidity to NBA offenses. We're seeing better passing than ever before, and frankly, it makes for a more entertaining brand of basketball. That sounds like Fratello basketball to me. That's something you really adhere to, don't you? If you play in the 80s, that's Fratello basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Cooper. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That is high-powered concentration right there. Cooper refusing to allow the defense to throw him off. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Suns trail by three. On the wing, Nance. Fires it up. The offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance buckets. They can make a big difference. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Scott up top. Pass to Worthy, and here is Abdul-Jabbar. Good, and it's Worthy picking up the assist. Abdul-Jabbar's got six points in the quarter. Boy, Abdul-Jabbar just showing off that smooth offensive game he has. It's tough to handle his combination of size, skill, and agility. Now here's Nance. He picked up 18 points in their last win against the Warriors in San Francisco. And he was huge on defense turning away two shots and altering countless more. So it's the Lakers now, following the score by Phoenix. Cooper against Davis. Cooper with the bucket. Cooper's got his second basket of the night. Great finish that time from Michael Cooper. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. Coach wants to discuss things here. A few things to address. And keeping everyone on the same page requires that communication. And Los Angeles with some changes. McAdoo is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. And it's Johnson in for Byron Scott. And the Suns also making a change. Scott is checked in for Adams. Passes it to Macy. Outside, Davis. From the strike. And it's good, two points. Davis has got 12. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Here's Cooper, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First person. One of the things you like about Cooper is how he sees the floor. This guy is an excellent distributor from the two-guard spot. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Free throw good, Cooper. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Suns trail by three. Brantley passes to Scott. Here's Nance. Makes it off the glass. Larry Nance. He's got eight. And that is textbook perfect. The bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. Johnson surveying the floor. We talk a lot about the importance of team chemistry. Cooper. Excellent connection right there on the alley-oop. Lucas a screen on Johnson. And Nance, how it's off the key. Shot clock at six. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Pittman the pass to Lucas. Here's Brantley. He's guarded by Johnson. Second shot opportunity. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down to one in the bucket from Lucas. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Cooper. Goes back up, and that's two points on the layup. Cooper's got 11 points. Cooper drawing contact and staying focused, not afraid to take the hit. Pass to Scott. And 
Nance kicks to Scott. Back to Nance. Outside, Scott. And the pass to Brantley. And the Suns get it back. Dishes to Scott. Pass to Brantley. Screened by Lucas. Second chance shot. Brantley passes to Lucas. Lakers with the rebound. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. And that will be the third of five straight played at home. To the paint. Johnson outside. There's a good screen. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got six rebounds now in the game. Scott, the pass to Pittman. Here's Lucas. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. There's 154 left in the first half of basketball. Got a hand on it. Nance, one of the superb shot blockers in the game. Just has a real good sense of when to elevate on the defensive end. Johnson outside. Pass to Cooper. Picks it out to Johnson. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. And this team encourages Magic to look for a shot, especially for mid-range. And the Suns call time here. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. In that last game, the offense was really clicking, and it can be tough to find that rhythm when you're out there on the road. For me, that comes down to chemistry. These guys just <laughs> love to play together and know how to get each other fired up. Rambis has checked in for the Lakers, and Phoenix making a change here. One twelve left to play here in the half. Rob out of bounds. It'll go the to the Suns. Suns trail by three. Brantley passes to White. Now here's Scott. The pass to Westfall. Here's Brantley. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Johnson. Lakers leading by three. There's 31 seconds left in the first half. Wilkes. The rebound by Westfall. Great defense. Forcing a tough shot. Getting a hand up on him is a must. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Cooper. He's got 11. Pass to Johnson. There's Rambis. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers ahead. They're up by one. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I thought he played some bully ball in that first half, punishing them in the low post. And we'll see if the defense adjusts. They may have to double him, which would really open up things for the rest of his team. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. For the lead, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The athleticism of Nance is special. Once he's this deep inside, he uses it to draw contact. But Sun shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That one drops. He ties it up. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. I like the grace and power Nance brings to his game. He's got a big guy build, 
but can move the floor well and duck around the defense. Passes it to Cooper over Davis, and it's Cooper missing. Sun shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. I like whenever Macy looks to score because it makes the defense uncomfortable like there. The Suns have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And the first one at the line is good. You instantly notice that Kyle Macy has a natural talent for shooting the ball. He understands the angle so well and knows just the touch to put on his shots. And he's been locked in from the line, proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. Here's Wilkes. Cooper kicks to Johnson. He gets hauled in by Adams. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Now here's Davis. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers. They trail by three to the right side. Here's Wilkes, covered by Nance. Where are they trying to break free? Wilkes, good. That's exactly the kind of possession you want on offense. Great chance, and they convert it. Here's Macy. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. What concentration for Macy. Impressive pass. The Suns shoot their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Scotty's checked in for Cooper. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Johnson outside. Pass to Wilkes. Abdul Jabbar in the corner. Scott up top. Five to shoot. Here's Wilkes. Misses the three. Suns lean by four. Shoots a fader. Nance, no good. And he can't let that miss either. Just got to come right back and take it again when left wide open. Now the pass to Scott. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Defensive foul. So much tenacity from Scott. Absorbs the foul and still fights to get his shot through. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throws were an issue for him in their last contest. He just was not able to find the mark. For whatever reason, he just didn't look right at the stripe in that game. A lot of misses for him. Now here's Davis. He's got 12. It falls for his seventh oh, bucket Davis. of the contest. He's seven for nine. You look at him here, it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Here's Johnson, Timeout following the score the by Phoenix. Timeout called the Lakers. Scott for Davis. No good. The Suns go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Now here's Johnson. Seven points in the game. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. Los Angeles making a switch here. 
third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Macy with it. Five points in the game. And Davis now top of the key. Offline from the top of the key. Lakers trail by three. To the middle. Suns foul. Maurice Lucas. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Johnson outside. Pass to Nader. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. This is simply magic being magic. Finding ways to break up the D and generate looks for his team. Macy passes to Lucas. Outside, Davis. Screened by Lucas. Phoenix, no good that time either. You don't get a lot of those chances. He's going to want that shot back. Johnson, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. For the lead, and good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. 14 points here for Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Macy against Worthy, and Macy kicks to Davis. Nance outside. Suns moving the ball around. Davis up top. Five on the clock. They get it again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And what a wild one this has been, Mike. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes. Yep, they regret them for sure. Now here's Worthy. Outside, Scott. Kicks it to Worthy. Three-pointer. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. Usually he takes full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him opening. So the Lakers yeah, call timeout. They're first. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. And he looks to be in total control right now. The defense keeps failing to slow him down. And the more he scores, the more confidence he gains. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. Johnson outside. Passes it to Rambis. Up again. It's good on the putback. Can't forget to box out Johnson. Got to make sure to box him out or he'll burn you. Brantley passes to Pittman. Count the basket. Pittman's got his second bucket of the night. Lakers trail by three. Suns foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. Here's Scott. Kicks it out to Johnson. Six to shoot. Outside, Scott. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Brantley passes to Westfall. Pass to Brantley. Here is Pittman. From the arc. And it's Rambis with the rebound. LA is getting blank from three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Now the feed to McAdoo. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got assist number seven for him tonight. Here's Brantley. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. Well, let's take a moment here to get your guys take on Shooting scoring so far for Phoenix. Two shots. And the first one drops. Los Angeles making a switch here. Cooper's checked in. That one misses. The Lakers trail. And there's the pass to Worthy. Johnson double team. Shot. 
There's the pick. The game now all time. Johnson's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, watching Johnson exert his will down low now, using his height and quick release quite well inside. And the Suns call time. One fifty-eight left in the third. Pittman the pass to Brantley. White against Rambis. Here's Scott, just five on the clock. And that one goes long. Lakers have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7-14. And finished off by Worthy. Love the communication on this play. Worthy knows the ball is coming and gets there for the alley-oop right on time. Here's Brantley. Shoots. A good-looking oh, shot from the wing. Yes, Westfall's got it all tied up now for the Suns. 112 left in the third quarter. Here's Cooper. He's got 11. Puts it up from 17. Pittman with the rebound. Here's Brantley. Pass to Westfall. They set the screen. Passes to Scott. From about 19 feet, and Westfall gets it to go. Westfall's got four points in the quarter. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. And it's Cooper missing. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here is Pittman, covered by Worthy. Here's Westfall, and the Suns tack on two more. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Johnson. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Johnson's got 13. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Suns lead by two. And we'll be back with you right after this. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Here's Cooper. Feeds it to Scott. Here's Abdul Jabal. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Defensive Tell you what, Abdul Jabbar is a really strong rebound. First team using foul. his body well to corral those rebounders. The Suns making a switch here. Lucas is checked in. The free throw drops for Abdul Jabbar. Here's Mason. Pass to Nance. A fadeaway. Rebound the Lakers. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Davis against Cooper. Right side, Scott. Lock at six. Cooper, the pass to Wilkes. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. It's deflected. Davis dishes to Lucas. Drops in the layup for two. And the Suns lead by one. Clark coming down the stretch. It's still anybody's game. Anybody's game is right. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. I know these guys have to be mad out and gassed. In the paint, Kareem can be so dominant, finishing evil while the defense is all over him. Macy passes to Adams. Adams sets the pick for Davis. Misses the hole. Now shooting eight for 14. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. 
Cooper against Lucas. And there it is for him. And now it's a three-point Laker lead. You know, we see this a lot. Both teams running their game plans flawlessly. Players are so skilled and efficient at the offensive end. Seems like neither of these teams can miss right now. I'm interested to see how long they're capable of keeping this up. Maurice. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Cooper. Right side, Scott. All sorts of time. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got nine rebounds now tonight. Scott against Mason. Outside for Davis. And right on target. Good. With the game in the balance, he is ramping up his intensity. You can feel it. And that's exactly what Coach needs from him. A big offensive effort down the stretch. Here's McAdoo. The pass to Scott. Shoots over Macy. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And it's good. With time running down in the shot clock. Abdul-Jabbar's got nine points here in the second half. Suns have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Pass to Nance. Now Macy. Nance outside. The Suns need to get a shot off. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Maybe nerves got the better of them there, resulting in a miscommunication. That's not what Coach wants to see in a close game. Magic Johnson, who checked in for the Lakers. It's hauled in by the Suns. Nance passes to Lucas. A shot good on the assist by Nance. Lucas has got four points in the quarter. Points they needed right there. You like the fact that he took it right to the rim. High percentage look at an important juncture in this game. That one good for two. And the Lakers lead by one. Well, this has been an exciting matchup. Both teams giving everything they've got. And a boatload of lead changes. It's been a game of runs. Now here is Davis. Rebounded by Abdul-Jabbar. Cooper kicks to Johnson. They get the rebound. Here's Abdul-Jabbar, and it goes down two points. Abdul-Jabbar's got 23 points. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. The yeah, shot's Nance. good from Nance. Boy, is that a big bucket, putting the offense on his shoulders there. Out to the right wing. Here's Wilkes, covered by Nance. And that one drops for him. Got to hit Jamal Wilkes harder than that Timeout. to Timeout. prevent the bucket. Timeout called, the Suns. James Worthy's checked in for McAdoo. The latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, during that last break, I listened to the Suns coach address his team. He told them they have to keep fighting. He said, hey, look, we're right here, but we can't make mistakes. You got to be aggressive and smart. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. A high IQ point guard. Macy has a feel for how to run this offense. Johnson against Macy. Johnson, the pass to Wilkes. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got his ninth assist in the game now. Poorly executed screen, however, they prevail. Credit the shooter for overcoming the aggressive defense. Davis, rebounded by the Lakers. Abdul Jabbar's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third personal. Inside Worthy is so graceful. Even the contact of a foul can't stop him completely. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. And the second free throw, good. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. Macy passes to Lucas. Shoots over Worthy. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down. It gets two points in the bucket from Lucas. 
Boy, got a pretty good look at it and makes the most of it. But I put that one on the defense. They can't be leaving him open at this stage. Here's Cooper. Passes it to Wilkes. With the teardrop, and he lays it up and in. Wilkes has got the lead up to four now for the Lakers. The Suns have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're seven of 12. And Macy kicks to Davis. Here's Lucas in, and his hot hand continues. 10 of 11 from the floor, and looking for more. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Johnson against Mason. Here's Wilkes. It's tipped. Here's Davis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Impressive how he endured that contact and still got the shot to go down. That took a lot of focus and just the right amount of power. And the Lakers making a change here. For McAdoo's checked Walter in. Walter Davis at the line for one. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Walter Davis, an all-star, his first four years of his career, is truly a difference maker. Johnson dishes to McAdoo. Eight away. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. They've been taking care of business, clearly. Especially at the offensive end where they've been totally in sync. Totally. He hangs in there and no, cashes sure. in on the second chance points. Lucas has got 12 points here in the second half. Persistence pays. Not giving up on the play there. Yeah, you're right. He read it right. He read it well, was in position, and he made the play. This is why they teach you to box out, folks. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by three. We've got 155 left to play here in the fourth. Johnson outside. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Over Adams. And with that, the Phoenix leaders cut down to just one on the bucket from Abdul Jabbar. For some players, this would be rising to the occasion. For Kareem, it's just taking care of business. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Nance. And this is checked in for Los Angeles. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by one. 135 left in the fourth quarter. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here is Johnson. Now the pass to Cooper. Shot clock at five. To the inside. McAdoo. That one, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Westfall. And good that time. And the Suns lead by three. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by three. 105 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Cooper. Pass to Johnson. Down low. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's McAdoo. It's good. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Not shying away at all. Fearlessly stepping into that big shot. Wow. Beautiful. That takes real guts. I think this whole arena was holding his breath. Here's Nance. Count it. Big shot there from Nance. Ice in his veins. There's 37 seconds left in the game. To the paint. The kick out to work. Here's Cooper. Six to shoot. It drops. 
17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Hey, that's the right move. You, you can't allow them to milk the clock here. Yeah, all they can do is send them to the line and hope for some misses. And so they foul intentionally. Third team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Paul Westfall. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. You know, Westfall is a do-it-all kind of player. Superb at putting the ball in the basket, either off the dribble, catch and shoot. Not bad on defense either. And they needed those free throws right here. At worst, the opposition ties it with a three now. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? This is a tricky situation. I mean, they need to get some kind of bucket to stay alive. They got to do it fast, though. Either a three-pointer or score quickly and take the foul. Here's Cooper. Out of bounds, Ball Phoenix takes ball. possession. Sun ball. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Well, it was a must-foul situation. They were hoping for somebody not quite shooting for so good at the line. And that's a good job from the offense to get it into his hands. They knew the foul was coming and got it to their shooter. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. Looking so composed at the free throw line. Not rushing anything. Just going up there and getting the job done. Johnson for three. The shot, no good. So the Suns win it. And they got to the feel game. good about this win, Mike. They worked hard to come away with it. Hey, yeah, it's a testament to their work ethic as well as their coaching. What makes this everyone possible. came together in order to grab this road victory. And they needed everyone to have uh, all hands on deck, didn't they? They sure did. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.